So in this video, we're going to take a look at an exciting new feature inside of ChatGPT. It's called Hot Mods. And if you want to use this guy here, you have to go to the Explore button. And inside of Explore, you should find Hot Mods somewhere down here. I've already used it, so it's in my recent section. Let's go ahead and call it up, or you'll find it up here. And when we call it up, it should allow us to upload an image. Now I can actually show you exactly how it works because I've done a few images here. This one was when I uploaded a car, the car didn't upload properly. And I said, make it look vintage. And it just created a vintage photograph. So it's using images for prompts. This image here was actually properly uploaded. And I gave it a, a word prompt, just saying, make the Pharaoh photorealistic. And it understood this is the Pharaoh, make the Pharaoh photorealistic. So we got a photorealistic, not Pharaoh, but death mask of the Pharaoh. So these are death masks that the Egyptians used to use. And this must have been one handsome fella. He looks really, really impressive here. Uh, I'm not sure where the snake was because there's usually a snake up here, isn't there? But he didn't capture that. Maybe it's rules say you can't put a cobra next to a person or some nonsense. Anyway, we've got the starburst here and I uploaded that and said, place a beautiful mug of coffee in front of the starburst. The next one is really going to be impressive. That's what we got. Then I put make it photorealistic. And this is what we got. Starburst. Can you imagine trying to explain this in, in words to, to Dali uh, 3? You can't do it. Uh, let's see if we can actually upload an image and use this image. Okay. I'm just going to pause a second. Right, this is the image we are going to try. We'll try this image. And uh, with this one, it loads up and make it look like a cartoon. So you can see the image if we click here, that's what it looks like. Make it look cartoonish. Now it is fairly buggy. So quite a lot of the time it won't work. It will complain. It will do all sorts of weird stuff. And it looks like it's going to be one of those times. No, it's creating the image. So it uh, succeeded. And we've got here this uh, very pink looking <laughs> lady with the, with the microphone. I was hoping it would give us something a little bit more close to, to, to the gentleman there, but obviously it decided to do uh, its own thing error generating a response whatever let's go back and look at some other ones that i did this one was a car that i created and i said make it black let's make this guy black and it, it had a problem with that oh boy and uh let's go and take a look at another one so with dali sometimes it has some really really weird uh behaviors these are the ones we were looking at let's take a look at the luxury car and uh, let's see this one. We've got the old wrap car there and uh, that's the image prompt. And I said, let's make it white and look kind of classic and vintage. And it did make it look classic and vintage, but it wasn't sure about the pose, the wrap pose. This guy, I said, make it look like a Sphinx. Let's make this guy, put this guy in the pose of a Sphinx. And it did. But it did also keep the one of the legs bent because the one of the legs is actually bent on the on the line. He's resting um, one of his uh, paws on the other one. And it also copied that, which is not exactly what I wanted. This one was a bit more creative. We have the Vatican and we also have this seashell, which the prompt there was create an ornate, ornate seashell out of this and make it in landscape. And it gave us this. This is pretty impressive. It put everything by the beach where you would expect to find a seashell. This one I thought looked very nice. It sort of turned the spiral inside out to make it, uh, to make it look not hollow, but more kind of full. And I thought it looked nice and pretty, pretty awesome. So that is how we do it. That is how we do hot mods. And it is very new. It is very buggy and it's also very sensitive to sensitive words. So sometimes if you put something that might be violent, all sorts of things, it, it won't actually show it. So you got to be careful, but I think it's a lot of fun. And I think it's actually the basis for quite a lot of creativity. 
because you can describe something. Well, they say that a, a word, a picture, uh, describes a thousand words. So sometimes the prompt is much easier to do when you're using an image to create the prompt. And then you can adjust the prompt so that it's exactly what you like. And if you want to see the exact prompt that DALI 3 used, you can actually see it here. So that is how we create mods, hot mods, using the hot mods feature inside of ChatGPT4. Try it out, have fun.